Just breathe. Okay. <laughs> Popular with the ladies like always, Chris. Shut up, Peter. This is not the time. <laughs> Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Remember Remember. This is the new game by Ethan Nakashima and Michaela Laws. And if you are unfamiliar of who they are, you should be aware who, of who they are. Um, Michaela Laws is the creator of Seduce Me series. Uh, she voices Diana in Seduce Me. And Ethan is the voice of Matthew. So, and I know he did programming for the Seduce Me series as well. And, um... I've been looking forward to this game ever since Ethan and Michaela talked about it on Tumblr because uh, they've been talking about we're making a game together and I'm just like, I wonder what that could be. And I find out it's a horror game. Now, you know, I don't do well with horror, but I'm willing to do this for Ethan and Michaela. But I, I can totally tell this is going to be so interesting. Um, the demo is out right now. If you guys want to play the demo, there is a link in the description where you can grab it. And also, before we get started, if you would like to support Ethan and Michaela, there's going to be links in the description to all their stuff and their websites and Patreons, whatever. Go support them so they can make more awesome games like this. And I'm really excited. I know Alejandro Saab, who voices Sam in Seduce Me, is in this game as well. Um, Christopher Escalante, who voices Eric in Seduce Me and does the music, is doing the music in this game as well. So that's what I'm aware of as, as well. There's a lot of vo awesome voice actors, and I'm going to put all the links to their stuff also in the description if you guys want to check them out. From the trailer that Michaela put on her YouTube channel, it seems like, um, what is that game called? 999? That, that new game that recently came out? I'm not familiar with that series, but it looks like that. Like, like a Saw type shit, like everything is going to shit and you have to figure out how to get out of there. But, I could be wrong. I don't fucking know. Anyway, let's get started. I've rambled on way too long. Chris! Chris! Don't go out too far, you two! I won't. Watch over her, Chris! Yeah, I know. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Alejandro's Kagi's uh, kid voice is so cute! Come on, let's go! Hey, wait up! <sighs> okay, this is Kagi's character, Chris. Where am I? Oh, they have oh that's so cool. I like it. They have like the lip sync animation and the eye animation too. That's so awesome. I really like that. Appreciate <laughs> that. What the Where am I? What's going on? Uh and why does it smell like bleach in here? Wasn't I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. Nope. The car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. Now how are we gonna get there? Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. Uh-oh. Did you do anything else yesterday? No. I gassed it up before I went home. Guys, we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. That's a 30-minute walk. We'd be late. It's better than not being there at all. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Yeah, let's just speed walk or something. Huh? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. Okay, so first of all, I, I know my viewers are a little bit younger. Don't get in cars with strangers you don't know because this is just creepy. Oh my gosh, yes! No! You are a lifesaver! Oh no. Huh? Who are you? Chem Major. Don't even worry about it. Come on. That's how you know they're shady. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just a creepy man with a van. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, come on. I got room, I promise. Hop in. You can walk if you want. I'm getting the van. Me too! Wait up! Well, it's better than being late. Chris, you coming? That guy, he drove us all... He drove all of us, but then why am I here? Damn it. Oh shit, what about the others? Rosa! Lisa! Peter! Xavier! I don't think they can hear him, can they? I gotta find them. What, what the... This place is huge. This- Yo, this looks like the fucking CDC center in The Walking Dead, like the TV show in the season one, the final episode. Is this some kind of medical facility? Everything looks clean and sterile. What kind of person owns this place? This, this is all sorts of messed up. What's with a giant TV? Huh? An elevated console? Looks like it's on. What is this? A game? It's like a kid's drawing or something. Three, two... One. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Ooh, cool. Um, I. Rawr. 
The monster's going to eat you and your friends. You can't eat them if I protect them with a magical flower crown. I guess I have to take these flowers to the toys? Okay. This is actually really adorable, but I can feel like something terrible is going to happen. Alright, now what? Oh, we have to get another flower crown. Shout out to Chris for the music. Your music is always awesome. Ah, what the hell? It's like Pac-Man. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. Dude, can like the brother like chill for like five seconds? What happened? Do I have to look for him? Uh... uh huh? What's that? This is an interesting game mechanic, considering like... This is technically like a visual novel, right? But like... Are you out here? Why does this bother me so much? What was that noise? <laughs> What the fuck? But considering it's a visual novel and there's little elements to it, like like there's a mini game within the game. That's I I really appreciate that. That's pretty cool. That was extremely weird. What kind of game was that? Why is it even here? Fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh? There's more rooms along the walls, and the rest of them are in other rooms. Well, might as well pick one to check it. Oh oh. Uh, can we pick? What's this? Oh, there's like different- Okay, I want to go over here first, because like, that was like the only one. This room looks like my- Oh my god, is that Rosa? Rosa! <sighs> Rosa! Rosa, wake up! <sighs> huh? Chris? Rosa, are you okay? Yeah, I think. What happened? Rosa's voice by Michaela, if anyone didn't know. <laughs> I don't know. Chris, I- Ugh. My head is pounding. Sorry. I panicked when I saw you and tried to wake you up. It's all right. <laughs> Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I just woke up a little bit ago. I'm thankful that Rose is okay. I hope the others are too. That's good, though. Here, let me help you stand. Uh, thanks, Chris. Where are we? I don't know. It's like some sort of bunker or something. Uh, this place is just creepy. Why did we wake up here? I don't know that either. Uh, where's Lisa? Xavier? Peter? Calm down. I haven't seen them. Uh, this is too creepy. I want to go home. Me too, Rosa, but we gotta find everyone else here first. The others might be in the other rooms I found. Other rooms? Yeah. We'll find our way out together once we find- yeah! What the oh fuck? God. Was that Xavier? Yeah. Sounded like him. He's going super go. saying What's happening? Um. Holy shit! Rosa, Chris, you're both okay. Yeah. What happened? We don't know. We just woke up. <sighs> no, I just want this damn thing off. What? What thing? This thing. Oh. Oh, it is so like nine nine nine, right? Oh my god. All of us have it. They all look like they've been welded onto us. But it had only- But I only had a gold bracelet. I have that same bracelet! What is it? Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. It feels like it was welded on our wrists. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot! Why did you even try to break it? <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> it won't come off! Come on! Hey, don't mess with it too much! Might shock you too. So Chris has the golden one. That's interesting. Is that just to <laughs> signify right. something else? Ugh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? How the hell should we know? We were all drugged! Guys! Now is not the time to go crazy! We need to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. The girls seemed really shaken by this. I don't blame them. Xavier just got electrocuted, but Peter's right. Calm down, Rosa and Lisa. Okay, um, check on Xavier, support Peter. Okay, I do want to check on Xavier because he got just fucking electrocuted just now, but I feel like I need to calm down the girls because they're, like, making everybody, like, very anxious and nervous, so I feel like we should try that. Girls, let's try and figure this all out before we drive ourselves crazy. Let's just calm down. 
I can't calm down. I'm scared. I know. I know you are. But if we calm down, then we can think of a way out. Chris is right, Rosa. Just take a couple of breaths. The less panic we are, the more likely we'll find some sort of way out. Just breathe. Okay. <laughs> Popular with the ladies like always, Chris. Shut up, Peter. This is not the time. <laughs> Shut up, Pete. So, any ideas on where to start looking? That's a stupid question. What do you mean? It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Oh, great! A big door! Yeah, Jesus, that's a- that door's big. That's the biggest door in the room. That has to be the exit. Yeah, but there's a bunch of fucking lasers in then front of it. let's just go! Rosa, look again. Aw, oh, crap. A laser grid? I barely noticed it. How can you barely notice that? That is a scary laser grid. Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch it. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Peter, go touch it. What? Fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Xavier? What the hell? Never know what it does until you try it out. What? Then why do you fucking touch That's it? It's not funny. It's too dangerous to try. So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or unlocked electronically. In other words, we are stuck here and and are back to square one. This is way too fucked up. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? The guy who kidnapped us. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? You all should have listened to Peter! Who else Okay. <laughs> but he looked like us! He looked like he came from our school! As much as I want to agree, anyone could have bought our school logo merchandise and pretended to be a student. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. I still don't understand. Why us? Yeah, if this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. That why is true, all that's kind of weird. Because he's some freak of nature. It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out! Oh, I've, I've seen a lot of psychological thriller movies and stuff like that, and I've played Life is Strange, and uh, usually the, the psychopaths in those um, scenarios have a very good reason as to why they're, they pick their victims. It's not like they pick them randomly, there's a reason why they pick them. We can't though. That door seems to be our only way out and it's apparently locked from the other side. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. You know, Lisa could be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. I still think that the door is our only way out. We can't be sure until we check. All right, let's just spread out and see what we can find. I know they want to be thorough, but I agree with Xavier. I'm pretty sure that's the only way out. All right, the entire space gives us the, the entire space gives me the creeps. Like this was built specifically for us. Okay, we have different rooms. We can check that room. It looks like a kitchen. Okay, let's go here first. <laughs> huh, kitchen in a place like this? What the? My thoughts exactly. Why would there be a kitchen here? Everything looks brand new too. Electric stove, yeah, counters, fancy sink. It's like everything was set up for us. Look, even the fridge is stocked. Oh my god, aside from 999, is this a, like, oh, I'm just remembering now. If anyone has watched Doctor Who, the, the Ninth Doctor season, where he was, like, trapped in, like, the house, like, the, like, the Big Brother house or whatever the hell that show is called, where they're, like, all trapped in the house, they can't leave, and then, like, um, it's, like, a reality TV show, but, um, every week somebody would get eliminated, and by eliminated, they would actually die? That's what would happen to them? Which is really fucked up, and I, I, I get, like, the vibe coming from this, too, so it's kind of weird. Water, frozen food, pudding? Even the cabinets have canned food. There's food in here for weeks. What the hell? Oh, whoever this sick freak is, they are really messed up in the head. You got that right. Why kidnap us and stick us in a place like this? Who gives a crap why? They you don't need care to know us. why. All we have to do is get out somehow. Lisa, my god. Still, we need to think about it, bro. Like, what Ugh, the heck? Whatever. Don't get all well, pissy I at me. See any exits in there? <laughs> nope. Uh, guys? Uh oh. Huh? What is it? Look. The TV's on, but what's that? Good morning, little insects. Oh, God. Insects? What the hell? Did, Did you, you enjoy, enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds? 
Oh, I truly hope so. This is like some saw shit next level. Whoever oh my god. Whoever you are, let us out! No, oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Not yet? What do you mean? My, my, so many questions. And you haven't answered any of mine. How rude. Why the hell should we answer you? You trapped us in here. Why is he so sassy? <laughs> for good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So, did you all enjoy your ride here? Okay. We have a choice to not answer, but in this situation, I feel like that's not going to benefit us. Uh, but it, it's like, it's like, yeah, he provided, like, them with beds and all this shit, but, like, how can you say it's comfy and shit? Because you're in, you're forced into this situation, you know what I mean? I'm going to say we didn't. Ah, see? At least one of you has manners. I apologize, however, that you didn't enjoy your trip here. Chris, why would you even answer this lunatic? Lisa, you gotta- God damn it, this girl's pissing me off already! <laughs> so straightforward. Though I expected nothing less from the Monarch Butterfly. Monarch Butterfly? What? Now we have pet names? Of course. All of you have wonderful little nicknames. They match you perfectly, I assure you. That is messed up. That tells us one thing, though. What are you talking about? This freak kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. I wonder who, who would do it, though. They're just, like, students, right? I wonder who they pissed off. So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping. No! If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I will bitch slap you. <laughs> you know, Xavier's an asshole, but I have to agree with him on this. But why us, though? It's for a good reason. I promise. There is no good reason for kidnapping people! Yeah. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Like what? Opportunity! What does that mean? Opportunity? Yes! This is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. The truth? What truth? I'll say this. A couple of you have been very, very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. Oh, whoa, is he gonna kill some of them? That's kind of fucked what up. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. And now he's calling himself a bird. This is nuts. Peter, shut the fuck up! <laughs> if you know the truth, then why not tell us? Where's the fun in just giving out answers? How does locking us in here get people to confess? There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets. Like the truth of the past. Alright. If anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Really, Peter? Oh, Peter. If only it were that simple. Of course, I'd already taken into consideration that the truth would remain persistently hidden, despite the environment. After all, the truth is so terrible. The ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. You're making no sense! Do you want us to find out the truth or not? Oh, I do. Oh I God, very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. Extra measures? Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? That's easy. We... We... How did we become friends? I can't remember. Uh-oh. Huh? How could we forget? Why can't we remember how we became friends? <laughs> <laughs> I've always been so curious what Alter Propanolo can do to the human mind. What the fuck is happening? What did you do to us? Nothing terrible. I simply locked away your long-term memories with a little sedative. You can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Propanolol. You made a beta blocker sedative for drug-induced amnesia. Very good, Rosa. As expected from a medical student. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. That's weird. Why would you do that? So many questions! Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. I will break this TV! Dude, that's not gonna help right now. I wouldn't suggest doing that. 
Unless, of course, you're a masochist for electricity. God! God! You fucking sadist! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. The anger. Oh, it brings back so many memories. Who the fuck is this person? Ugh, how are we gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us? Oh, don't panic so quickly. The effects are temporary if left unchecked. How long do they last then? Well, from the dosages I gave everyone, I would say a week. Maybe two. He. Chris did say when we went into the kitchen there was enough food for at least like a week or something like that. So, is this guy like planning to keep us here for a week and then if we don't figure out he's just gonna kill us all? Like, I don't- I don't know what's so going on. So we have to stay here until we remember? Think of it like a treasure hunt. All of you get to work together in unlocking the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. This person... Who are they? Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. What? Huh? Me? You are very special, Chris. I cannot wait until the truth is revealed. What will you do, I wonder? You're insane. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? The first game is about to begin. Huh? Game? What do you mean? Your special game! Does your generation not enjoy games anymore? That's disappointing. After all of the trouble I went through to make this a fun experience. There's nothing fun about being drugged and kidnapped. Nope, you can think you can either go to my Life is Strange Let's Play and remember that too. <laughs> Regardless, Rosa, Lisa, Xavier, and Peter. Please, make your way to the platform. Well, what about Chris? And line up on the red circles. Why the hell should we? Lisa, let's just go. Why? Lisa, he can electrocute us. Maybe Rosa should be named the smartest one. Then again, Lisa, you were always dim when it came to details. Oh, hell no, dude, that's rude. Excuse me? Lisa, just start walking. Now, Chris. You get to use the console. Okay. Me? What am I using it for? You'll see. Alright, we're here. Now what? So creepy. My, my, so anxious. How about I ease your minds with a little story? Seriously? The tragic tale of a beautiful butterfly. Once there was a butterfly that wandered too far from its home. It was a gorgeous butterfly indeed, but little did it know, an evil bird was trailing it, hoping to rip apart its wings for fun. What kind of messed up story is that? Do you all like that? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll share for now. Can't give away too much of the story at once. This guy's a lunatic! Do you hear me? You're a lunatic! My god, Lisa! It's like, getting on my last nerve, dude. <laughs> Call me whatever you like, little insect. It doesn't change the fact that you are trapped in my nest. Ah! What the fuck, dude? What the hell? Hey, let us out! What is happening? Guys, what is this? <laughs> Welcome to your first charge, Monarch Butterfly. Your goal is simple. Save your friends Oh uh, no! I'm so bad at this because I have to make a decision. I'm gonna end up killing somebody, Let yo. Let them out! Oh, only you can do that, Chris. <laughs> the ball is in your court. Will you save them? Or leave them to die? Oh, hell no, dude. Oh, God. What kind of fucked up game is this? What the fuck is going on? Guys, look down. Ah, water. What the? The trees are filling up with water. Oh, God. <laughs> you better hurry. 
Those tubes are sealed tightly and will fill completely with water if you don't rescue them all in time. I have no choice, damn it! I'll save you guys! Don't worry! Oh, this is beyond exciting! <laughs> well then, shall we begin? If I don't save them, they'll drown in those tubes. I have to keep my calm and get through this. Still, I have to play the little kid's game to save them. I guess it makes sense. Just run from the... Wait. Butterflies? Wait, what? Oh, oh shit! Okay, hang on, hang on. Fuck! Oh my god. Ah, oh, what is stuff? Thanks, Chris. Shit, there's a timer! Oh god, I'm like not good at this shit. What? Oh, I have to get the circle! Fuck! I just wasted time! God damn it! No! Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, the one I Did I die? My god, I can't. My anxiety! <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. I gotta maneuver. I gotta maneuver. I gotta maneuver. Yo, what is this? Yes! The water stop! Thank you! Jesus! Fuck! No, I got only 60 seconds, fam! What is this? Oh my god! No! Fuck you! Ah! Uh. Where is that fucking son of a bitch? Oh my oh. god! No more water! Thank you, Chris. Jesus! We're out! Guys! Thank you, Chris! Thank you! You did it, man! Holy shit, I did it! Well done, Monarch! Perhaps you are the person she imagined you It has to do with that beginning we saw with the, the little brother and the sister, which was Chris. So, I'm assuming her little sister? Huh? She? She? What do you mean? Hmm? Did, Did my medicine really erase that much of your memory? What are you talking about? He's just being psycho again. Just ignore no. him. No! I'm curious of the reaction this will cause. So I will share a little secret. What? What secret? Why do I feel uneasy? Chris, tell us. Do you remember a girl named Sarah? Chris! Chris! Come on! An Amber Alert has just been released for eight-year-old Sarah Meyer. How could we have lost uh -oh. her? We'll do what we can to find her, ma'am. Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> so you do remember her. Sarah? Who is Sarah? I think I remember her. Yeah. Isn't she my little sister? She went missing years ago, and there's been no sign of her. Wait, you have a little sister? Hmm. The medicine seems to be affecting each of you differently. Interesting. How fucked up if the person behind this whole thing was was his sister? Wait! What happened to your sister? <laughs> well then, maybe I should let you all figure that out yourselves. You sick fuck! It was you who took her, wasn't it? That's why you're doing this! Where is she? Ah, if I told you, then you won't play my little game. Besides... I'm not the only one who knows what happened to her. What? The fuck are you going on about? What? Someone else knows what happened to her? Consider this a gift, Chris. You'll finally be able to discover the truth about the disappearance of your sister. A truth that was hidden beneath your very nose. I truly hope you all enjoy your stay. May you all find the truth of Sarah's disappearance. Wow, what the fuck? Together. <laughs> this is so messed up. You're gonna use you're gonna use the little sister's disappearance as a like leverage? Holy shit. Find them find the truth together. That means one more of my friends knows what happened to Sarah, and they've been hiding in me for years. 
So the kidnapper got all of us here so that I could finally learn what happened. I don't know whether to be horrified or gratified. Regardless, this is my chance what happened to Sarah. To be continued. Dun dun dun. Alright, so that was the demo of Remember Remember. This is totally interesting. I, I'm digging the story so far because, like, the usual visual novels that I play obviously are freaking like dating sims, let's be real here, or Tomes, which is what I play a lot on uh, this channel, but I... I, I don't like horror games, like horror um, type of games, because I get scared really easily. But this is more like horror thriller, and there's a mystery behind it. And if you guys know me, and like from my fucking door over there, I love I love Sherlock, and I love a lot of like mystery TV shows a lot. So this is totally interesting. And then the fact that uh, the person behind the mask named Chris the Monarch, which is the butterfly. Which kind of goes back to like the butterfly effect since you are making all the choices and whatever. I, I like that little detail there. I also like that there's a mini game with the maps with the creepy uh, monster that scared the shit out of me. I like that too. I like um, all the voice acting of course is fucking wonderful. Everyone did a wonderful job. Uh, the artist did a wonderful job too. Um, Ethan and Michaela with the story. It's great. I, I'm really enjoying it so far. And... I, I, I'm, I can only assume that you can end up killing the characters within the story as well. So, I also like that, that we have, like, uh, decisions to make in the game. Because there's even more consequences. I love games like that, where you, like, make your own story and stuff like that. So, I really hope I don't kill any of them. But let's be real here, I'm probably gonna do it. But if you guys want to check out the demo yourself, there's a link in the description where you can get it. And, um... I don't remember exactly when this game is planned to be coming out, but if, uh, if I know it, I'll put it on the screen or in the description uh, so you can know when to expect it. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys check out Michaela and Ethan's stuff and the rest of the voice actors. I'll have their links in the description as well. And if you can, support them on um, any of the platforms they are on, either on Patreon, YouTube, or whatever it is. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And let me know in the comments who is your favorite character so far and who do you who do you think I'm gonna kill? Let's be real here. Who do you think is gonna die? Because <laughs> somebody's going to. As much as I don't want to, I really think somebody's gonna die. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody!